What's good? We back. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boss Clinic and more early morning grind. Got a couple of videos coming, but um, a couple of brothers in the comment section told me that the Terrence Crawford, uh, you know, called out everybody. I finally got around to an article. I don't know if he deleted it or what, or he posted it on. But uh, shout out to Three Kings Boxing. Shout out to Truth and Facts about boxing. My boy Bo. I'm gonna link the Three Kings article to the description. I'll go support them. And um, my boy Bo got his page, Truth and Facts About Boxing. I'll link it in the description. Got much love, much respect for that brother right there. Um, and Chris Henderson, uh, much respect to him, man. Re really, really good guy in the boxing community, both guys. But, um, but yeah, man, you know, he said he called out everybody, called out both Garcia's, called out Lomachenko, Earl Spence. Uh, said he tried to be disrespected by the media, and he want to prove that he the best. Only problem is, you know, you only need the best on your side because your side don't want to come together and make fights with Al Heyman. And like I said, it's a business decision, you know? Because why would Al Heyman match his guys up with Terrence Crawford? Ain't been an undisputed champion for a long time. You know, at World to Eight. I don't think he really care about that. You know, honestly, because, you know, if he gives Terrence Crawford the opportunity to fight one of his guys, I mean, and he walks away with all the belts, then what leverage does PBC have in the World to Eight division anymore? Period. It's all about business, big business. We already did a video on that a couple weeks ago. But, you know, he can just freeze out Crawford. Because um, once Crawford gets the WBO belt, he don't have to be ranked in. He don't, he's not going to be ranked in any other sanctioned belt bodies. So his his t talent pool is going to dry up. So he has to get guys to move up and move down. He said that. He said if guys want to, you know, challenge me, they can move up and way, they can move down. And he is being disrespected, you know. But, and I'm going to tell you why, you know. Bob Arum continues continuously to push Lomachenko. I mean, you know, he speaks lonely of him. He's the next Ali. You know, he might say some things about Terrence Crawford, but you see the, the difference between the way they promote the fights. Miguel Moraga, they promoted it for a week straight. Terrence Crawford didn't start promoting until the way in you know. And Crawford, you know, said something, spoke on that. And, you know, he's not being treated right over at top rank. I remember the brothers in the championship rounds boxing group said, who's the best promoter fighter? And now I'm said Terrence Crawford. I said, what? One of the worst promoted fighters out there. Well, he's filling up arenas. Yeah, he's filling up his hometown. He got hometown support. Is he going to go to MSG with Jeff Horn and fill that pace halfway up? Absolutely not. He's not a big star. And there's not a lot of big stars out there. It's hard to promote, you know, American homegrown fighters. You know, and that's that's facts. But, you know, he got the right to be disrespectful, man. Disrespected. You know, um, you know they, they praising Lomachenko and they telling this guy he 2-3 on the pound-for-pound pound ranking on ESPN. I mean, they're really pushing this guy away, you know, top rank in ESPN. They really are. You know, they blatantly disrespected him on camera. He undisputed. He didn't fall champions. He taking the risk. He continuously to move up. He's moving up in the lion's mouth when he could have sat at 140 and just sat on top of the throne and just played king of the hill and just kick people down the throne. Um, while, you know, you know, Lomachenko was just fighting guys below his weight class still and, and really not doing what Crawford is doing. He's taking the risk. And um, he's taking the gambles and everything. He looking at it like I wouldn't fight anybody. You know, Lomachenko, uh, maybe him, no too much weight. No, no, no. You know, I mean, he's a good fighter, but you know what it is, man. You know how they gonna treat people, man. They gonna try to push the next guy. And you know, like he said, guys can move up. He willing to fight Earl Smith. It's no problem. He willing to fight Thurman. It's just boxing politics. He got to weasel his way out of top rank, and I think it's the sooner the better. A lot of people don't like it who support top rank. But his business, Al Heyman's going to continue to freeze him out. He's not going to get no shot. Even if Bob Aram is willing to, to let him go to Showtime, he's not getting that shot. You know, because why would they offer him the ability to blow up on their network and take his fan base and his belts back to you know ESPN? Why? That's dumb. You know, why not freeze him out, cause friction with his promoter, and, and, and he can't get the fights that he wants? And then he can call Al. Al can get him out of top rank contract like he did Floyd Mayweather. And then we done. Then he's a PBC fighter. That's the ideal business decision for that. Unless top rank and, and PBC and Showtime, and they can hash out a deal where they, they do, do joint fights for the next four or five years or something like that. You know, if that's possible, that's the only reason I see how. He's going to continue to get disrespected because nobody's going to respect him for beating Jeff Horn. And the rest of the and Pacquiao being old, they're going to downplay that and spend that the way they want to spend it. And then the rest of the opponents at 47, he got, he don't have nobody there. He got to fight constantly Poor Marv and WBO mandatories. So he going to consistently, he going to constantly get that criticism. He is, you know, it ain't going to do nothing but go downhill for, for Terrence Crawford from here. 
unless he's able to make fights with PBC. And the best way to make fights with PBC is to get rid of top rank right now and go move over and sign with PBC or sign or be a free agent, uh, basically be a, a freelancer, uh, you know, fighter and fight by promotional company, you know. You know, Bob Aaron can want all he wants. You know, he can sue Al Heyman. Why should Al Heyman continuously work with him? You know, but business is business. Look how long it took them to make Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, and this Crawford and Thurman and Spence fight, Porter, Garcia, whoever you want to say. It's nowhere near that. You know, it's nowhere near that everybody's going to leave here 100% wealthy like that. You know, it's business. So he's going to have to get considered to be, take the criticism, consider the dream about fights that he think he can get, and hope that they happen. I don't think they're going to happen, but... You know, that's just my prerogative on there. Let me know what y'all think. But he being disrespected, even by ESPN, mainly.